There are many reasons to take up a hobby, whether it's to indulge in something creative, boost confidence, reduce stress, socialize, and or develop new skills. But then there are some hobbies that are just bizarre, I mean deadly. Why do people risk their lives for these hobbies? Hello Thrill Thinkers, let's take a look at some of the world's deadliest hobbies. Mountain Climbing The challenge of touching the summit is what's captivating about mountain climbing. Reaching the top of a mountain is metaphorically equivalent to facing a fear or pushing personal limits and coming out on top. Nowadays, mountain climbing has become safer than it used to be, as there is increasing availability of trained guides and high-tech safety equipment. Mountain climbing originated with the British in the late 19th century, and soon it became a recreational activity, with people climbing the Alps on a regular basis. Perhaps the most famous climb was achieved by Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay in 1953, when they reached the summit of Mount Everest. While mountain climbing, the chance of a fatality occurring is 1 in 1,750. The main causes of death are equipment malfunction, weather, and falling rocks. Bungee jumping. This deadly hobby gives a sense of living in the moment and taking a leap of faith. Unlike mountain climbing, where you depend on your personal strength and outdoor expertise for survival, bungee jumping is more about just having faith that things will work out. Bungee jumping originated on Pentecost Island in the South Pacific, when a woman was running from her abusive husband and climbed a bunion tree, only to jump off it with her ankle tied to a vine. She taunted her husband, he wasn't brave enough to do the same. Her husband followed and jumped as well, only without a vine and fell to his death. Since then, it has become custom for husbands on the island to climb a tower and jump from it to show their bravery to their wives. Bungee jumping was later publicized in 1979 when a group of students from Oxford University recreated a jump successfully. It became a popular recreation, however, when a man called A.J. Hackett jumped from a bridge in Auckland in 1986 using an elastic cord. Later, his jump from the Eiffel Tower was televised and attracted public attention from around the world. In 1988, he opened a commercial bungee jumping site called Bungee in Queenstown, New Zealand. Surprisingly, bungee jumping is the safest extraordinary outdoor activity. The chance of a fatality occurring is 1 in 500,000. The main causes of fatality while bungee jumping are the cord being too long and the detachment of the ankle brace. Skydiving. This is a step up from jumping off a bridge or a tower. For the people who do it, diving out of a flying airplane is all about enjoying life rather than defying death. Skydiving originated with Frenchman André Jacques Garnerine, who made successful parachute descents in 1797, using a canvas canopy and a small basket tied beneath a hot air balloon. Skydiving became popular when the military advanced parachute technology and used parachutes during World War II. In 2012, Felix Baumgartner broke the world record when he jumped from 128,000 feet. That's 24 miles, or 39 kilometers. Just before his dive, he said, Sometimes you have to go up really high to see how small you really are. The chance of a fatality occurring is 1 in 101,000. The main causes of death by skydiving is equipment failure. Motorcycle riding. There are many reasons people indulge in this dangerous hobby, or should I say lifestyle choice. As of 2018, the American Motorcyclist Association had over 210,000 members. Riders who ride frequently often form groups and travel together. When compared to cars, motorcycles give better gas mileage, as good as 60 miles per gallon. It is also much cheaper to own a motorcycle. A new motorcycle can cost around $10,000, while the cost of a new car can be upwards of $30,000. If that isn't enough reason to become a rider, did you know that motorcycles are less harsh on the environment than cars? They require significantly fewer fossil fuels to build, and emit 30% less carbon dioxide than cars. Other advantages of being a motorcyclist are of course being able to find parking easily, 
and being able to weave in and out of traffic easily. This is advantage enough to have a motorcycle if you live in a crowded urban area. Yes, we're referring to you guys in China, India, Indonesia, and Vietnam, the four largest motorcycle markets in the world. Unfortunately, according to the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, in 2016 there were 5,286 motorcycle deaths, the largest number of motorcycle fatalities since 2008. The main causes of motorcycle death are from failure to wear helmets, intoxicated driving, and excessive speed. Scuba diving So far we have discussed hobbies that are on rough terrain, in the air, and on the road. Here's one that's underwater. Scuba diving allows you to breathe underwater and be a part of marine life in ways that swimming or snorkeling just can't compete. We live on the 30% of the world that is land. The vast majority, 70%, are oceans and other bodies of water, leaving many wondering what it would be like to be in the natural habitat of the thousands of species that the 70% of the world is home to. The chance of a fatality occurring while scuba diving is 1 in 34,400. The main causes of death from scuba diving are equipment failure, improper ascent, descent, and cardiac arrest. Have you tried or would like to try any of these deadly hobbies? Please share with us in the comment section below. Do you know someone who is a thrill seeker? Share this video with them. If you found this topic interesting, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting content. Thank you for watching!